Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will take a look at how to add HTML email signature in Apple Mail. Now you need to really make sure to listen and go through each of the steps because if we miss a certain part out, this may not work for us. Now in terms of this tutorial, we will go ahead and assume that we already have a signature HTML. So if you don't have a signature HTML, just go right on ahead and create one using anything that you can find on the internet. But the very prerequisite is that we need to make sure that we have a signature. So this is a, you know, any sort of name with a HTML document. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding this into our Apple Mail. So let's just go ahead and open up Apple Mail itself. And then we're going to be creating a placeholder first. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into mail right here. And then we're going to be going into settings. Now you can go ahead and create a placeholder right here. And then you're going to need to go ahead and add this into any of these slots. So for us to go ahead and add a signature, just go ahead and click on the plus icon. Now you should be able to see something like this. And let's just go ahead and change the signature name right here. So let's call this test signature. And then the contents right here, it doesn't really matter because we're actually going to be replacing this. Now, the crucial part for us is we need to make sure to go ahead and fully quit the mail app. So let's just go ahead and click on this, the X and right here as well. And then we need to go ahead and hold this app right here. And then let's just go ahead and click quit. So this will fully close the app itself. And we're able to go ahead and make changes to that placeholder that we created. Now we need to go ahead and go into our finder right here. And then at the very top, you should be able to see this go option. So go ahead and click on this. Now we're going to be accessing the library. If you can't see a library right here, you need to click on the option button on your keyboard. So when you click on the option, you should be able to see it. So if I click off the option, then you can't see it anymore. So hold the option key and then click on a library right here. And then we're going to scroll all the way down until we can go ahead and see mail right here. And then you're going to be seeing some form of V something. So just go ahead and click on the latest one. I only have one, so I'm going to be clicking on V10. And then we're going to be going on mail data right here. Now we go ahead into signatures and then you should be able to see something like this. Now, if you have multiple signatures right here, then just go ahead and search for the latest one. So the one that is the latest right here is actually this one. So this is at 651. You can go ahead and ignore all the other ones right here. This is the one that we're going to be editing. So again, make sure that this is the latest one. And then we're going to go ahead and right click on this until we can see something like this. And then we're going to be open, opening this with some form of text editor. So just go ahead and choose one. So I'm going to be choosing text edit right here. Go right on ahead and click on this. And then this is what we should be able to see. So this is actually the section that we're going to be removing. So do not remove any of this on the top right. Instead, we're going to be removing this. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be copying the content of this HTML into this dot mail signature right here. So I'm going to be opening this up as well with a text editor right there. And then I'm going to be copying the entire content of this dot signature. So I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to be pasting it right here like that. So as you can see, I copied from the .html to the .mail signature right here. So go right on ahead and save this .mail signature by going on file and then save. And then we can go ahead and take this off. Now we need to make sure that .mail signature, which we saved. So again, it's the latest one is locked. So we need to right click on this once again and then go into get info. 
and then we're going to be clicking on lock right here when we go ahead and lock this this means that we are not allowing apple to go ahead and make changes to the signature so that we can go right on ahead and keep this as our mail signature so just go right on ahead and click this off click this off once again and if things go well then let's go ahead and check the mail and then we're going to go ahead and add a signature so just go ahead and compose a new email and then you should be able to see the signature section right here and hopefully this goes well so if you cannot see it just go ahead and go on edit signatures and then you need to make sure that that signature is connected to the actual account itself so i'm just gonna drag this right here so this is my google mail and then i'm gonna drag this off then if we go ahead and try to recreate once again we should be able to see this right here so when we click on it then as you can see our html signature is right here and there you go i hope that you have found this tutorial useful i'll see you guys next time